This illusion is one of the classics of magic, dating back more than 100 years. The magician enters and examines this empty four-legged wooden frame. From the round top, he lowers a chain. Next, his beautiful assistants wheel in a clothing rack filled with costumes, though most of their wardrobe could probably fit in a coin purse. One of his assistants makes a selection, a suitably seductive two-piece number and a pair of heels. The magician now hangs the costume from the chain as his assistants bring in a large hooded cloak. Kind of an extreme contrast in clothing, but whatever. I'm sure it's part of his plan. As they attach the cloak to the frame, a ghostly mannequin head is introduced. Creepy. Once the cloak is in place, the magician sets the head on top of the frame. The cloak's hood is pulled up and over the head, and the assistants spin the entire frame. How about that? The mannequin has transformed into another beautiful girl, dressed in a sexy two-piece. That's one way to find a date for a Saturday night. But there's a secret to how he did it. So how did the magician use an empty frame, a sexy costume, a large cloak, and a mannequin head to create a beautiful assistant? The secrets are incredibly simple. As the assistants wheel in the clothing rack, the girl who will materialize secretly sneaks in, hidden by the costumes. While the magician is busy hanging the sexy outfit on the chain, his assistants prepare to bring him the large cloak. They hold it open so that it will hide the girl's path from behind the wardrobe rack to her next hiding spot, behind the frame. Once the assistants out front have closed the front of the cloak, the girl can slip inside the frame unnoticed. But what about the costume the magician hung inside the frame? The hollow base of this unit is constructed with flexible rubber pockets to hide the clothes. As the two assistants are adjusting the cloak, the girl inside is busy hiding the duplicate costume and shoes in the hollow base. The mannequin head is placed on the frame and the hood is pulled into position. The hood secretly contains a wire frame which allows it to hold its shape when the girl inside removes the head. From the side, you can see the head removed while the hood stays upright. The girl quickly hides the head in a secret pocket sewn into the cloak, then hides a wooden plug in the base, leaving a space for her to stand up for her glamorous appearance. The two assistants quickly remove the cloak with its gimmicked hood and secret pocket, and all attention focuses on the appearance of the lovely lady. Once again, the women do all the work, and the magician gets all the glory.